Hi everybody, this is Teacher Readings and this reading is going to be for Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. We're going to see what are the energies that are coming up for you. Tell, tell me more about the person Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is dealing with. Do check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. In the extended, I've talked about uh, how is your person feeling, the advice for you, oracle messages, love notes, outcome of the situation for individual signs for Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. So do check it out. It is going to be linked below for you. So what are the messages for Taurus? What are the messages for Taurus? Let's see. Feel the need to cut the deck today. The sun, Leo energy. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, <laughs> this is amazing energy. Ten of Cups, wow. Let's see. And then we have the Moon and the Ace of Wands. So what do we get for you, Taurus? This is a lot of good energy. This is somebody really wanting to express themselves and this is a divine timing kind of a deal. First of all, I see good money coming in for you, okay? I do see somebody communicating with you as well as I also see um, good money coming your way. I don't know how to um, show you so you can see better, but I do feel like there's that communication. There's that um, an opportunity that's going to take you forward. I definitely feel like this could be an apology that comes your way as well from somebody so keep that in mind. I also see the Ten of Cups being here, the Sun being here. So you're going to be happy. We have the Temperance. Um, I do feel like there's somebody coming back in, but you might be a little bit resisting this energy because you're focused on yourself and you're healing yourself from something that happened in the past. However, I see somebody being very willing to communicate with you. They have feelings for you. They, you make them really, really happy whatsoever. Um, you know, let, let's see. Tell me more about that moon energy, maybe. Let's see. The nine of wands. Okay. So, <laughs> I feel like in the past, maybe you were expressive and this person was closed off. So, now you're having your, your doubts. Um, but I do see them wanting, willing and wanting to open up. But I see you being a little bit hesitant, okay? So you might not trust them right off the bat, but I do see them reaching out to you, um, Taurus. I do see them wanting to communicate with you, wanting to talk to you. Look at these cards, you know. I do feel like this person wants to tell you something they want to express. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, I do see them reaching out. I do see them reaching out. And I also see, um, let me move it a little bit. I also see good money for you. So money could be improving. I see you being very happy and, you know, in your own element, which is really good as well. And this energy is looking like soulmate type of an energy and everything is going to happen um, when it's supposed to happen. So divine timing is, is involved as well. Um, it might take some time, but I feel like at the end of the day, I do see a relationship for you, Taurus. Um, it might be slow paced forward movement, but we have the Ten of Cups, which is a relationship and the sun being, you know, a very happy card. So the signs that are here are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius a little bit. Cancer as well, if I said it. Now let's see what the Romance Angel Oracle is going to say for, okay. You might be releasing them because I did see the release your ex card. Tell me more about the person Taurus is dealing with. We have trust. The situation is calling in. What was that? The situation is calling in for you to have faith. I do feel like you don't trust them, but this person really wants you to trust them um, and give them a chance maybe chemistry there is a lot of chemistry between the two of you attraction right
Let's see. We have healing family issues. The, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Somebody needs to heal their past issues. Whether it be you or them. And then we have soulmate. I just said that in your reading, by the way, that I do. Yeah, I was I was getting the soulmate kind of a vibe from this. Heart talk conversation. I do see um, somebody reaching out to you, Taurus. Okay. Express your love, make the effort and religious factors. So maybe some of you are becoming more religious or spiritual. However, there is somebody wanting to express themselves. And like I said before, I do see the soulmate kind of an energy for you. Now let's see what are the messages for uh, Capricorn. What are the messages for Capricorn? Sun. Oh, you see the devil. I feel like you're very closed off. Like it's like you are just not dealing with the situation. I see you being very closed off to somebody who might be a player. Let's see though. You'll see what happens. King of Swords. So maybe this person started it. They started being detached. Oh damn. Capricorn, this is, what is this? This is actually, you You look back and you think that this is a disaster waiting to happen. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm not really getting your person because sometimes they want to come forward and talk. This, I feel like this is the reason why you're cutting them out because they're so confused. And um, I do feel like they're going to be reaching out to you. But it might be unexpected communication for you. But I feel like there's always that energy of this person not giving in 100%. There's always something that they're holding back. Um, this person could be very rigid and non-expressive. Um, and you don't want that in a relationship. And they have ended it with you in the past. But I don't know for what reason. They're still looking back. They're keeping tabs on what you're up to. So stability-wise, they're not really offering you much. They're being selfish. They're keeping it to themselves. And you look back and view the situation as a disaster waiting to happen. So you're not focused on it whatsoever. So your person's kind of wondering what you're up to with a little bit of willingness to come forward and talk. But a lot of these cards are telling me that they're very stubborn. They're very stubborn. Even if they are uh, stalking you and looking at what you're doing, they're still not really opening up much about it, you know. Um, I feel like they ended it with you or they have walked away from you several times. You just don't trust them. You just don't trust them. But I don't know why am I getting that burdening energy from this as well. There's that energy where somebody is burdened. Let's see. King of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Nine of Cups. So there could be two people for some of you, okay? But to me, this looks like you're in love and now you're trying to hold back from expressing that. You were very much in love with this person, but you kind of are not really giving in as much because of the way this person has behaved with you. I still see them holding back. But the thing is, Capricorn, you do make this person happy. They just don't tell you that. And if somebody cannot tell you that, then what's the point, right? You also think like that. So the signs that I hear are Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Being very stubborn. Let's see what are the messages for Capricorn from Romance, Angel, Oracles. What are the messages okay we have chemistry okay i'm going to take all of these we have reconciliation getting to know each other i maybe there is reconciliation for you okay um because this person does feel very attracted to you however i feel like there's always that communicate communicative gap here um because this person's not very expressive there's always something that they keep to themselves and 
you do think that this person's the one at times, but then you take it back because of the way they behave, because of the way they're not so expressive towards you. So I do see you two reconnecting with the reconciliation card, but I also see that um, maybe there's a need for this person to open up more and maybe th then this can go forward because you do make them happy. That's not like, you know, they don't want you, they want you. But I feel like they're very rigid and stubborn. If they don't want to express something, they won't. Which is a little bit problematic in relationships, right? So that's it for Capricorn. Now let's see, what are the messages for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? We have Ace of Wands, we have Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Hangman, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, that's interesting energy. So, okay. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So, Virgo, for you, first of all, I see some delays, okay, and confusion. I do see that this person wants you, but I don't know why, for some reason, they think that it's done, it's over. And you might not be very reciprocative if they do come forward and communicate with you. So that thought is something that they're not liking. And that's, that's why they're holding back because they do feel like if they come forward and talk, you might not be responsive, okay? Um, with the Ace of Wands being here, I do see them reaching out to you with Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. There is communication. There is willingness to come forward and talk. However, I also feel like there is a little bit of that giving up energy involved with it. So the giving up energy is coming in because they feel like you are not as interested as you were in the past. There's that stuck energy with the hangman and the four of pentacles. It looks like this person's very focused on themselves and they're kind of like uh, gauging the situation a little bit before they make a move towards you. They're kind of like thinking to themselves and trying to figure out what is... What is it that they should do? What is it that they shouldn't say? You know, how how can this situation move forward? Um, they do fantasize about you a lot. They do think about you. You might find this person to be a little bit um, manipulative at times, like a little bit, um, because I don't know why they do play a little bit of games. But right now they're fantasizing about you. They're thinking a lot about you. It's, it's, it looks like they're very work focused, but at the same time, you are on their mind heavily. The only reason they might be holding back is because they think you don't want this and that is causing delays. I do see delays in this reading. So I do see a comeback around, but I see some delays as well or slow paced forward movement, okay? This person's kind of like taking their time before making a decision. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, um, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, very evidently here. We also have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, so it could be anybody though because we have all signs for you. Now let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying for you. What are the messages? What are the messages? What messages do you have? I do see them returning. I do see them wanting to come back towards you. 
hard talk conversation again you know um there is going to be a conversation between the two of you you might be very focused on yourself on your self-love on you know your own self somebody's going to be making the effort towards you i do feel like um this person wants you to trust them um with the open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all yes they do think that you're not very open to this communication which is why they're hesitating but i do see somebody coming in with a lot of playful energy with you know somebody wanting to communicate with you all right so that's about it those were the messages that popped out for you guys give this video a like and subscribe to my channel check out the link in the description box for further details about the extendeds um yeah, that's it. Take care and bye-bye.